Hi everyone, in this video we'll have a look at another tool which we can use in order to debug Android applications. So that tool is Java Debugger. So Java Debugger is actually a command line tool for Java classes which means by using the Java Debugger we can actually debug the API calls and we can analyze the methods and parameters which are actually being passed by that API call. So you can see here that Java Debugger actually works with the Java Debugging Wire protocol means JDWP is a protocol which is responsible in the working of Java Debugger and with the help of JDWP that is Java Debugging Wire protocol we can actually debug the applications. So the main thing to be noticed is that the Android applications which are actually be debuggable can be only debug in Java Debugger. So what happens is some of the Android applications are not debuggable so we can't debug that applications in Java Debugger. But we will see that how we can actually make an application to be debugged in this Java Debugger in our system. Now let's see how Java Debugger works in our system. Now let's see how we can use Java Debugger in order to set custom breakpoints in Dev application. So you can see here that our Motion is up and running and here is our application Deva. So you can use any application in order to debug in Java Debugger but you have to be sure whether that application is debuggable or not. So let me open this application and meanwhile you can see here that our Sentuko VM operating system is up and running. So as I told you earlier that the applications which can be debuggable can be only debugged in Java Debugger. So how we can check whether a particular application is debuggable or not. We just have to simply write down ADB followed by JDWP that is Java Debuggable Wire Protocol and if I hit enter you will see that it has list out all the process IDs of the applications which can be debuggable in Java Debugger. So you can see here all the process IDs of the application which we can debug in the Java Debugger. So what I am going to do here is let me open another terminal and let's find out the process ID of Deva and let's see that whether this process ID is present in this list or not. So ADB shell and let's grab for Deva. And you will see here there is one process ID called as 4130 which is actually present in this list which means we can debug this application that is Deva. So how we can do that? The first thing we have to do is we have to forward a TCP port. So just write here adb forward tcp and here we can write down any port let's say 3333 so it's a port number then the next thing we have to do is we just have to write down here jdwp followed by the process id of the application which we want to attach with our java debugger so its process id is 4130 so let me gonna write here 4130 let me hit enter and you will see here that our port forwarding is done. Now all we have to do is we just have to attach this process ID to our Java debugger. So just write here JDB hyphen attach followed by localhost and that port number. So the port number was 3333. Okay, so you will see that right now we are inside Java Debugger or we have successfully configured Java Debugger. So same thing you can do is that you can even just write down classes and it will list out all the classes of this application that is Deva. So here is one issue in Deva that is access control issues part 3. It's a content providers. So what I'm going to do here is I will actually find out the method of this classes because I already know the classes name of this particular application. So you will see here I am just writing down a class name. So let me just write here methods because I want to list out the methods of this class name that is present inside this package jaka.aseem.deva.notes provider. And if I hit enter you will see that it has list out various methods along with some additional methods and you can see here method lists you can see all the methods that is notes provider init method notes provider delete get type notes provider insert net notes provider on create notes provider query now what we want to do is we'll actually set up our four digit spin let me set one four digit spin one two three four 
and now if we click on go to private notes this content provider which act will actually query some data from the database so what I'm going to do here is we will hook into this particular method that is notes provided dot query and we will see that whenever we click on this button we'll be able to do something or we'll be able to see something so let's try to copy this method so in order to hook or in order to analyze any method we just have to write down here stop in and let me paste a method here so what we have to do is we just have to add dot and we have to combine that that is query hit enter and you will see that we have set up our breakpoint at this particular method so whenever this method will be called we will be able to intercept the method so you will see here that if I click on go to private notes and if I enter here four digit spin and if I click on access private notes so you will see here that we hit the breakpoint you can see the breakpoint is hit and in order to find out the variables or the arguments which are being passed by this method so just write down here locals so you can see here all the variables and all the arguments like the first one is URI projection selection sort order so similarly if this was a banking application so while transferring funds we can actually analyze that methods and we can find out the argument that is from account to account how many funds so what we can do we can even change the value of these variables or arguments by just writing down here set URI equals followed by the value and if you want to resume it or if you want to let it go so just write down here resume and you can see here all threads is resumed and here we will be able to see our private nodes so this is how we can analyze or hook into particular methods by using java debugger and we can debug the application so in this video we talked about that what is java debugger and how we can analyze methods by using jdb so thanks for watching this video